What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at International Mad the Match, Kevin De Bruyne, and he looks absolutely insane in that center attack and midfielder spot. But before I begin this review, I want to let you guys know that the non-inform I ha I just absolutely love, and I think he is the most one of the most overpowered players in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. He's just absolutely insane for the, for the price you pay for him. He is just so overpowered and amazing in that position. But is his International Mad the Match any different? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coins, check out battlelake.com, the link will be in the description and use the code ITANI to get 5% off, or if you're looking for PSN cards or Microsoft money, check out G2A, the link will also be in the description. Now, to begin with, this guy has got good pace, and do I feel any different between the non-inform and the international man of the match when it comes down to pace? Not really, I mean, you, the upgrade is not really that significant, so you won't feel any pace upgrade or anything like that. Dribbling-wise, it's still sort of the same for me, didn't feel any different at all. His agility is seems slower to me though, so that is quite surprising. I felt he is harder to turn with this one, even though his stats have been upgraded. Very good finish in the penalty area, had pretty much no um, problems finishing with him. And you can certainly call him a reliable finisher. Now when it comes down to this guy's 5 star weak foot, I think that's going to be his biggest selling point, especially because his shooting is so high. Now when it came down to shooting though, I felt there was no shooting upgrade at all, even though his shooting, uh, his long shots and shot power have been increased by a lot, but I felt no difference at all between him and the non-informed, but maybe it's because the non-informed shooting is already overpowered as fuck. So, 5 star weak foot is going to be amazing and his biggest selling point in my opinion, because it's going to keep your opponent on his toes, he, he doesn't know which way you're going to turn, which foot are you going to shoot with, and that's what makes De Bruyne very very dangerous in that cam position. Really good finesse shots, but I'm guessing you guys are used to seeing 40 yard finesse shots with every player now with me. Um, uh, like I said, very good shooting, but same as the non-inform. You won't see any difference in shooting at all. Decent passing as well. Maybe you can play him as a center forward in the false nine position, but uh, that's up to you. Now, the negatives. He feels no different to the non-inform. I have to tell you this now. No matter how much money you're paying for him, you're not going to feel the price difference. I felt no difference at all. He felt exactly the same. And sometimes I would feel the non-inform is actually better, which is I just don't know. Sometimes I just feel like that with certain players, where the non-inform is just so overpowered. Um, I think the the upgrades actually spoil how overpowered the non-inform is, and that's exactly how I feel with De Bruyne. But that's just my opinion, guys. He is also weak. Didn't find him uh, living up to his strength attributes, and also heading. He didn't win me even one header. And his agility, he just seemed more stiff than the non-informed for some reason. But that's all there is to it for this player review, guys. Let me know if you've ever felt that um, you you were playing with the non-informed and and you've played so much with the non-informed, you know exactly how awesome he is, and then you upgrade him to someone that is exactly the same, or you just upgrade him to a better version of him, and he just feels so bad, and you have to go back to the non-informed. Let me know if you've ever felt that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a very nice day.